Hello everyone and welcome to New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I am your host Richard Evans. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. Today I'd like to show you outpoint padding on the 3Play 3P2. So, story time. You've marked the perfect instant replay. You tell your director it's ready to go and you play it, but your director doesn't cut back to the live show or maybe you missed an outpoint or who knows what. It could leave the last frame of your replay on air for a few seconds, which would be a little awkward. So outpoint padding is here to make sure you have no dead air after an instant replay by adding a few seconds at the end of your perfectly captured clip when playing it out without undoing your edit. A very simple but useful technique to cover your bases. So show you how it's done, son. All right, so we're going to start off in the 3Play 3P2 interface, and I have my control panel up here ready to go. So uh, I already have a clip here in my clip list that's pretty much queued up and ready to go. So uh, I can just tell my director, OK, I have my replay ready on my A output. So I have A output set to my clip list. And now my director can say, all right, go ahead and run your replay. And I'm going to do something fancy here. I'm going to play this replay back and then shift to a different camera angle by holding down the angle button. So let's go ahead and hit play here. Hold on angle and I'll wait for them to cross the center line. Go to angle four. Boom. All right. Decent replay there. Boom. All right. And then it stops. Now, what if my director did not go ahead and cue back up to uh, his live game? Or let's say that I missed my out point, for example. Uh, well, then I have this, you know, frame of dead air going up over the jumbotron or over live, etc. And that, again, that's kind of awkward. So, what we're going to do is we're going to add some outpoint padding, which will not change any of my edit on my uh, current play here, so that I can use this for whatever uh, use I want to use later on in the game. And yeah, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at that. So we'll go on the interface and go up to options. And you'll see here I have an option for outpoint padding. And I have a couple of different uh, selections I can choose from here. Uh, right now it's selected as none, but I can also do 5 seconds, 10, 15, 30, 60 seconds, or unlimited till the end of time. But we're going to select 5 seconds here. So I just want you to keep an eye on, my, on the, uh, the timeline here of this particular clip that's playing back. And then also note that my original clip here, I have the, this guy just uh, right on the, the line here. Uh, so they'll give us five seconds after the fact here. So uh, now let's go ahead and do that same thing again. I'll go back to my original angle and replay ready on A. Go ahead and play it. So I'll hit play, hit angle, and then I'll go to angle four so I can get that play. All right, and check it out. Now it keeps on going a little bit for about five seconds. That gives my director a little bit of time to go through and make different changes or be able to switch back to his uh, live shot uh, before that replay ends. And now I can go ahead and say, let's, I like this particular shot. I'm going to go ahead and add that to my playlist. And let me go ahead and bring my playlist up here. So now uh, my uh, original edit is still intact here. So I'm going to go and hit A and then hit playlist instead of my clip list and play that clip back just so I can show you that it is the original clip even without point padding on it only applies to the clip list so so he goes for the layup nice and stops right there like I had in my original edit so it doesn't do any changes to the edits of your clips it just gives you just a little bit of room to uh, play with and again you can set that anywhere from five seconds 60 seconds to the end of time and as usual play around with it and have some fun so Three play and outpoint padding helps keep your video moving while preserving your edits. Now make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube page at youtube.com slash newtechinc for upcoming three play videos. And if you are looking for more training resources, I highly recommend checking out New Tech University, which is available at newtech.com slash newtech u. And if you'd like to know more about new tech products and services, contact your local reseller or visit newtech.com slash demo to sign up for a free new tech product demonstration. And lastly, if you're posting your work on social media, please tag us using the hashtags NewTech, TriCaster, or Replay. Thank you all so much for watching. Keep up the good work, and I'll see you again for another episode of New Tech Tuesday Tutorials. I don't know why. <laughs>